By 6 a.m., police had surrounded Uganda House, which is the home of both the Uganda People's Congress Party and the Milton Obote Foundation. Both UPC and Milton Obote Foundation claim ownership of premium property and they both have different interpretations of their roles and responsibilities in relation to each other. Because this is something which we are not prepared to compromise and this is something which our forefathers, when setting up, made a home for the Uganda People's Congress and a home which we shall proudly protect under all circumstances. If it was in the interest of the party, they'll be supporting the party. They'll be championing the work of the party. But they're definitely not. They have their own agenda, their own greed. And as the leader of UPC, I will stand by the party. The income from Uganda House is the one which is sustaining the day-to-day -day operations of Uganda House Investments Limited and of Milton Obote Foundation. The foundation's leaders have been accused of having plans to sell off Uganda House, which is one of the factors that have heightened the wrangles with the UPC. The foundation leadership has, however, denied these claims. If you are to mortgage Uganda House as the national headquarters building, you need approval of the National Council of UPC. How can somebody in his right mind sell off a property which is sustaining the operations of two companies? Police say the deployment at Uganda House was meant to avert any possible violence arising from attempts by supporters of UPC to prevent a planned general meeting by the Milton Obote Foundation. The, the other group of uh, Obote Foundation was planning a meeting to hold a meeting to reach a certain consensus within their party. And uh, Akena, Akena's side was against that meeting because it feels like when they hold a meeting, they're actually going to, they, are, they will reach a consensus of, to sell off the building and that is his fear. So when we got that information, we felt that as Uganda police, we should deploy earlier so that we make sure public peace is kept. The meeting did not eventually take place as it was halted by a court injunction sought by Jimmy Akena. However, the members of the foundation say Akena has no right to challenge their activities because he was expelled from the foundation in October this year.